Guy woke the next day to the sound of hooves. His eyes blinked open on daylight and he realized he'd been laying in bed half the morning. It never used to be this way. Before... Before Marion's death, his dreams had been untroubled. Now, all he saw every night was the expression on her face as she died. The accusation in her eyes. It was unbearable. Sometimes he made himself stay awake till sunrise beyond the point of exhaustion. But when he finally succumbed to sleep, the dream still came. He'd tried every potion the apothecary had to offer and none of them could banish her from his mind. He thought perhaps he didn't want them to, because if she disappeared from his dreams, she'd truly be dead. I am dead. You killed me. His legs tangled in the sheets, and he tumbled to the floor in shock. No, he said, covering his eyes. You're not real. I'm still sleeping. Marion strode towards him green dress swirling around her legs, the sun falling in shafts through the window, casting an ethereal glow about her pale form. The floral scent of her perfume was soft in the air. You're awake, she said. Look at me, Guy. She was as beautiful as he remembered, but her green dress was stained with blood. You betrayed me. And all for Hood. He's the one who should pay for what he's done. Go and haunt him! Marion smiled sadly as she faded away with the echoes of his shout. But when his voice had died, another, louder noise took its place. Someone was banging on the door. Guy dragged himself to his feet, pulling on his leather breeches and leaving his nightshirt to flap above them. The sheriff had seen him look worse. Except it wasn't the sheriff, waiting at the door. Guy had never seen this man before in his life. He wouldn't forget a man like that. He was so tall he had to stoop to fit under the lintel. But there was something awkward about his height. He looked like he spent a lot of time trying to disguise it. Bony ankles goose-pimpled in the cool air above frayed boots. But the eyes, peering over a beaky nose, were an almost silvery grey. Sharp, and far too knowing. You haven't been sleeping well, the man said. His eyes narrowed. What gives you that idea? The man smiled calm in the face of Guy's fury. She will forgive you, but first, you must forgive yourself. Guy took a quick, stumbling step back. What? Who are you? I'm Hugh Alvinson, the man said. Which finder extraordinary, summoned by the sheriff to rid these woods of the devil who's plaguing them. 